Welcome everybody to Pop Dust Presents. I'm here with Upsal today. Hi, how's it going? Very, very good. Uh, excited to have you in here. I know yeah, you have a you. show tonight. Yes, at Bowery Ballroom. I'm so excited. Awesome. And you are on tour right now with someone who was a, another Pop Dust guest before, right. Max Frost. Yes, with Max, yeah. So yeah, when I saw that you were touring with him, I was like, oh, that's very cool. We should talk to her as well. Hell yeah, thank you, seriously. And, um, <laughs> And it's a pretty big month for you because you have a new EP out this month, mm -hmm. Hindsight 2020. Um, how would you describe it to people that might not be familiar with your music? I would probably say it's it's very fun. It's very dancey. And I feel like my biggest goal was like writing and releasing music is to make people feel very like empowered, feel kind of badass, you know? So I don't know. That's kind of the vibe it is. And it's been really fun to see the EP be transformed into a live show and like seeing how people react to it has been really cool. What's the live show like? Are you have a band or? Yeah, I have an amazing guitar player who is gonna be singing backing vocals and stuff, a drummer running tracks, and then I kind of switch around between guitar and piano singing. It's Very so cool. fun, yeah, I love it. Uh, what's it like touring with Max? This so is, fun, yeah. This is his Gold Rush tour, right? The Gold Rush tour, yeah. So I've known Max for the past couple of years. We like started doing sessions together, that's how we met, and then he's just kind of become like a mentor for me, and um, kind of like an older brother, so it's really cool to like be on the road with him and kind of watch, He's, I mean, he's toured a bunch before, so it's cool to kind of like watch his process and kind of like take yeah. advice from him you know very cool yeah now is it true i think i had heard that you had actually um covered a song of his early that, on and then he had reached out to you yeah well i had covered one of his songs on like a radio station in phoenix arizona really? where i'm from and um it got posted on youtube somehow got to twitter you know how it goes and then his management who's not my management saw it and then so his management reached out and then we've been working together ever since. It's not that entirely uncommon that people will do covers of, you know, other artists yeah. um, who are like, you know, typically like on the rise themselves, you know, have had some big things happen and then, you know, they'll get in touch because it's a cool way to like let them know that you exist and like no, their music totally. by covering it. No, it's cool. I love it. And so you're from Phoenix, Arizona originally. You live in L.A. now? Yeah, I moved to L.A. like a little over a year ago. And I remember talking with Max. He was saying that that was just, I think he was from Austin. Mm -hmm. And he just said that like, you know, when it came to sessions and producers and everything like that, it just made... There's like really no other... To be doing sessions every day, I feel like L.A. is kind of like the place to be right now. Um, so yeah, I, I wanted to be like meeting as many songwriters and producers as possible. And so... I moved and started speed dating with like every producer and songwriter in LA and I wrote in the past year like like 200 something songs just because I was doing it like every day with these people and met have just met like the best people ever and I'm slowly like finding like a team of producers and writers that I work really well with and it's been a really cool process. Was it the last EP or was there, there more? I think you had a self-titled one that you yes. came out with when you were 17? When I was 14. 14? So, what? <laughs> no, when I was I in... I can barely read at I 14. I love it. When I was in like middle school and high school, I had I went to a performing arts school. So one of the teachers was my science teacher in sixth grade. She at her house had like a recording studio and she heard Typical me science sing. teacher. Yeah, you know, typical stuff. Um, and she had heard me perform some horrible original song at like a talent show and she was like oh you should come record an album at my house and so my dad is like super into music and he was so supportive of it so he took me to the studio and we like recorded and I ended up releasing three albums and I was like in high school which was really fun like I look back and I'm like okay some of these songs are questionable but it was just a fun it was it was really cool and to be able to play shows and stuff when I was in high school was so awesome very cool yeah. um what's your your favorite off of the new EP? Probably Drugs. The I know that's the lead single right now, right? Yeah, I mean, that was a single with, like, the music video and yeah. stuff. The day of writing it, I just knew, like, that it was special, and it's the only song that I have ever been a part of where I can show it to anyone, and if they don't like it, I just know that they're wrong or they're lying to themselves. I'm just like, no, this song that. is good. Like, it's the one song I'm just, like, so proud of. So, yeah, I'm obsessed with that one. I think earlier we were rocking out to uh, All of My Friends Are Rich. Mm -hmm. That it's one's very fun. very catchy. It's been very stuck relatable. in my head. 
ever <laughs> since. Yeah, tell us about your rich friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, moving to L.A., drugs is about moving to L.A. and kind of dealing with that. And then, yeah, I guess being in being 19, moving to such a big city, and then working with people who are a little bit older than me and who really have their lives together, I was like, oh crap, like, I don't even know, like, I'm eating sushi every night for dinner, like, I need to, like, really get a grip, like, you know, I'm seeing all these people killing It can it. be worse than sushi, I mean, that's not... No, I know, I just, I'm just, like, I'm just a mess, like, I'm, like, spending all my money on sushi instead of, like, making my car payments, you know how it goes, but, um, one day I was, like, talking to my friend Graham, I was, he produced drugs and he produced All My Friends Are Rich, and we, it was the end of a session and I was about to leave and I was, like, on my way to some party and I said something like, oh, yeah, it's so annoying, All My Friends Are Rich, and he was, like, stop, you're not leaving, we have to write this song right now. So then we wrote it, like, really fast, and then it was, like, one of my favorite songs, so. That's really cool. Yeah, it's fun. How would you say the music has uh, evolved since your earlier uh, projects? Yeah, it's evolved a lot. I mean, naturally, because I'm in a stage in my life where, like, every day I feel a different way and, like, want to do a different thing, you know, um, just because I'm so young. But, yeah, I guess being able to work with such amazing producers and writers who have like been through it and have done it before has been just really inspiring for me and I think that's helped evolve my sound in, in a better direction and yeah I just feel like having them as a resource and being able to collaborate with people is such a big thing for me that when I was making my older stuff I wasn't able to really do it was mostly just like me writing songs in my room so to be able to be a part of something bigger than just yourself is, is really cool. I think recently on Twitter, you had said uh, that the song "These Boots Were Made for Walking" is the kind of big, big dick, dick energy, energy. <laughs> uh, that you'd like to have uh, yes. every day. Yes. Elaborate. I was in a restaurant, <laughs> and that song was playing. And at the end, when well, obviously the whole song is like, you keep saying you don't want me, blah blah blah, and then she's like, well watch this, like, screw you, basically. And it's just so amazing. And then at the end, she says something. She's like, come on, Boots. Like, are you ready to, like, fucking, like, you know? It's just, like, so badass. And I was listening to it, and I was like, she is such a baller. Like, I need to be like this. So I tweeted it's a positive it. message, yeah. Like any no, other normal like, person would do. I like that. Yeah. And I also saw on Twitter that you're playing Lollapalooza. Yeah. That's huge. I'm so excited. I've Very never cool. been to Lala, so it's going to be... It's gonna be so fun. I'm so excited. That's really cool. And it was that like just announced or? Yeah, it just got announced like a couple days ago. Wow. I'm stoked. That's yeah. super exciting. Okay, well, awesome. Uh, congrats to you and, and the tour you. and everything else.